Coming up is a very special edition of Unwrapped. We're taking you to the local Boston restaurants for a food lover's tour of traditional Vietnamese dishes. Travel with us by train and get exposed to everything from food on the go to fancy dishes. Learn all the secrets of delicious Vietnamese spring rolls. Discover what makes these sandwiches irresistible and get in line for an authentic experience at this restaurant. Follow us as we go behind the scenes of this rich culture where we guarantee you that once you try these foods, you'll be wanting more. All this and more Munchies for Boston coming up next on Unwrapped. Hi and welcome to Unwrapped. I'm Michelle Arguelles and we're here in the fabulous city of Boston, Massachusetts. Today we're going to take an inside look at some Vietnamese dishes that locals like to splurge on. From appetizers to grabbing to go to fine dining, we're going to give you an inside look at some savory secrets. So, let's jump right in and see how they feed them the essence at Fall 2000 If you don't pay attention to where you're going, you might miss out on eating at this quaint restaurant. Pho 2000 is a family-owned restaurant with Vietnamese-themed murals on the walls and a menu that will leave your taste buds demanding more. An item everyone likes to eat first is their reasonably priced and tasty. Hi, Jackie. What's this? Um, it's spring rolls, Vietnamese spring rolls. They're called hoi hoi, and they're usually an appetizer that you eat for meals. And there's What's um, that vermicelli noodles and shrimp and pork and some vegetables. Um, and you dip it in peanut sauce. Oh, yum. You should try some. The lines are long and seats are hard to find, so of course the food must be in high demand as well. At Pho Viet's, located off the B line, college students from the nearby area come to this stop to feed their appetite. This is not your average food court. There's a little bit of everything for everyone, and Pho Viet's has many Vietnamese dishes. One of their most popular items is the Vietnamese subs, which come in three varieties, beef, pork, and ham. Here at Foviets, we try to create an atmosphere where diners have the freedom to choose between different Asian foods so them and their friends can eat together. Workers here are friends and family, and they've been here since the beginning. This is a uh, bien mie, right? Um, it consists of carrots, cilantro, cucumbers, and beef, and a lot of mayonnaise. It's a traditional Vietnamese sandwich, and it tastes great. Coming here isn't just sitting around and chatting with friends, but also to get a big bite of this inexpensive and delicious treat. Up next, we take you to another great restaurant in Brighton where soups are eaten year round. So get ready for an un forgettable experience. Hi and welcome back to Unwrapped where we're giving you an inside look at some of Boston's finest Vietnamese eateries. Right now I'm standing outside the restaurant that has bowls of pho that draw in hundreds of hungry customers every day. We're going to give you an inside look at how each bowl of pho is made with love and care every day right here at Pho Lays. Pho is slowly becoming the most popular new soup in the United States. With its century long history, this is no surprise that has changed a lot. At its conception, it was basically raw beef with noodles and soup. But with the creativity of Venus Chef, a lot of has changed to accommodate the taste of modernity. Every restaurant gives a side plate of bean sprouts, basil leaves, and limes. 
and at every rest restaurant says sauce such as sriracha and poison sauce. With all these options, your friends are bound to love pho. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tour of fine Vietnamese eaters in Boston. Next time you're in Boston, check some of these out. And tune in next time for Unwrapped.